George Floyd was not alone in the car when he was approached by police. In the passenger seat was his longtime friend, Maurice Hall. Court TV legal correspondent Julia Janae sat down with Maurice Hall this weekend, discussing the moment he found out about the death of his friend. How are you processing him dying? When did you find out this is what happened? I mean, they took him away in an ambulance, but when did you find out? The next day. Being that I had personal stuff going on, so, um, and the, city, the area that they had me um, stop, uh, uh, held up, um, I did not actually know until the next door, unfortunately. And um, we have mutual friends. Uh, Floyd and I have a lot of friends that, that we met with, where well, I've met them here and they became his friend, like I said, and one of the female girls, she actually gave me a ride back up there, and um, it was just like normal. I did not know, and um, I don't, you know, the streets. I guess was all cleaned up, and I was hearing them, but I wasn't record, I wasn't retaining until um, I had went back to the hotel room, and I got up, and this same female, she started um, um, calling and texting me and say. A man died on Chicago in um, 38th, and my heart dropped in the bottom of my foot. But she said a man died on Chicago on 38th by police, and that's when my heart dropped, because I knew the coordinates. And, and when it said last night, and when I opened my phone, it was all going crazy. And then I called another home friend that Floyd and our brother that helps us financially together. And I, I was like, man, it's for real, you know? What was your next action after knowing this happened to your friend? Uh, everybody know what I did, and I fled. Help people understand that. Like, what, what you were going through during that time. Yeah, I got out of there. I mean, I just didn't, I didn't have, I couldn't really... It didn't hit me till I got home, Houston, way out, you know, where we originally from, because I was trying to get away and focus on, you know, that. But um, yeah, it didn't hit me till I got home. Were you seeing how people were reacting in a positive way, wanting justice for him? When did that news start coming to you? Um, like eight days later, or so because I had lied down and it seemed like I slept a week that felt like two days. I'd like slept a week, just I didn't, you know, I'm up, barely ate and back down. And it's like the TVs, everything around us is about that, you know. And now I'm watching how Minnesota is going on and everything, so, um, my personal family, my immediate family and I, they trying to figure out what my next move for me, you know? And everybody's calling my family, my mother and them, and like, where is he? Is he all right? And, you know. Were you concerned for your safety at that point? I definitely was. And uh, I definitely was. I was, like, worried at first. You know, I didn't know if I was going to be able to see the ending through uh, what. I didn't know, you know? I just had no idea. And I'm also trying to think of what to do, but I really can't because I'm limited in rooms, you know, like. Did it ever cross your mind that that could have been me? Oh, yeah. It didn't cross it so much as to hearing it from family members, you know, friends and things. And that's why, and that was one of the main reasons everybody, my media family embraced me. And, and, you know, took me in because that's what they felt and saw, like, you know, being so close like that. That's what they were saying. And um, which, you know, had me scared even more, you know. I'm like, yeah, I see it. But hearing it from others was, you know, more powerful. What's the hardest thing? What was the hardest thing then, going through that, you're having to leave your home, your friend is, has passed away. In this way, um, just seeing him suffer was the hardest, you know. Him knowing that 
this is really happening. Like, I know his slang. I know why, you know, what do you think? I know that he's in tune with his body. He knows the Lord, you know, he's spirit. You know what I mean? I know he knows that. And for him to scream out and be feeling this occurring to him, you know, at one point, he said it, man, this is cold. I can't believe this. And just like the whole world, we can't believe it. You know, so just hearing them say that and suffer, man, my heart goes out to them. They broke my heart when they did Floyd like that, you know. That is Maurice Hall, who was with George Floyd the day that um, he lost his life in police custody.